Hey everyone, Dr. O'Neill here. I want to personally welcome you to Grow Gray Matter. In this video, we're going to cover the first half of the key medical terminology terms for the muscular system. So you can quit focusing on words and start focusing on ideas. Let's get our learn on. So first we have erg or ergo, which means work. So some examples to help that stick. The first I can think of is ergonomics. So ergo means work. Nomics means the rule or law of something. So ergonomics kind of means the rules of work. But what the word actually means is the study of or the science behind working efficiently. So you can think of ergonomics as the rules or study of working efficiently, ergonomics. Next example, synergist. So syn, S-Y-N, means with or together. Synergists working together. So the term synergy means teamwork, but in this example, a synergist would be muscles working together with a common action. So think biceps brachii, brachialis muscle, brachioradialis muscle, they all work together to flex the elbow. They're synergists working together. Next example, a really cool one, is energy. The word energy actually means into work. So think about energy. Energy is what allows you to do all the work you do. It allows all of your cells to function. It allows you to move heavy objects. It allows you to think. So energy, think into work. So we turn our food into the fuel we need to create the energy that we need to turn into work, energy, into work. So there's some great examples of erg or ergo meaning work. Next we have iso which means equal. So whenever possible I try to give you an example from outside of medical terminology to really help these terms and ideas stick to your gray matter. So think isosceles triangle. An isosceles triangle has two or more equal sides. Iso means equal. Now in the body, think isometric versus isotonic versus isokinetic contractions. So isometric, iso means equal or same. Metric, think meter, think length. So isometric contractions are muscle contractions where the muscle stays the same length. Isotonic means equal tone, equal pressure. So an isotonic contraction will be a type of contraction where the muscle is actually changing length, getting longer or shorter. Isokinetic, equal or same speed. So isokinetic contractions, they usually require specialized equipment and exercise machines, but they allow you to continually move a joint and contract a muscle at the same speed. So isometric, same length, isotonic, same tone, same pressure, same contraction, isokinetic, same speed. So iso means equal. Next we have troph, which means well-fed. So the first thing I thought of was a trophy. So traditionally trophies were truly the victors taking the spoils. So after battle, they would take your food, they'd take your weapons, but by taking your food, they were going to be well fed. So a trophy is something that actually nourished you and allowed you to be well fed. Now, obviously now we think of shiny trophies from winning events, but uh, that is where a trophy actually came from. Now in the body, think hypertrophy versus hypotrophy. So hyper, means excessive or more. Trophy means well-fed or growth. So hypertrophy, think growth. I don't want to say excessive growth because if you're in the gym and you're working out and your muscles are getting bigger, that's hypertrophy. But we may see a condition like hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, which actually means so hypertrophic, excessive growth, 
cardiomyopathy. Cardio means heart. Myo means muscle. Pathy means disease. So that would actually be a disease where you have an enlarged heart. Could be because of a valve problem, something like that. So hypertrophy just means more growth. Whether that's good or bad depends on the situation. Now hypotrophy would mean less growth. So if your muscles are small, then they are hypotrophic. So under or less growth, hypotrophy. Now atrophy, A means without. So atrophy, think without being well-fed, without growth. So if your muscles are atrophying, they're actually getting smaller, which could come from inactivity or diseases. So hypertrophy, your muscles are getting larger. Hypotrophy, basically your muscles are small. And atrophy, your muscles are actually not being well-fed. They're getting smaller. They're shriveling up. So that's troph, which means well-fed. All right, myo means muscle. So some examples to help that stick. First, we have a myocardial infarction, which is a heart attack. So an infarct is a lack of blood supply. So myocardial, myo, muscle, cardia, heart. So a lack of blood supply to part of your heart. So a myocardial infarction is the actual term for a heart attack. Next, we already said this one, but let's say it again. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. So hypertrophic, think excessive or a lot of growth. Hyper, excessive, a lot. Trophic, growth. Cardiomyopathy, cardio, think heart. Myo means muscle. Pathy, think disease. This is a disease state where you have an enlarged heart. Now your heart can get bigger with training or just getting bigger if you're an athlete or growing. But this is a disease state where your heart is getting enlarged because of some defect, a hole in the heart, a valvular problem, these kind of things. So hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Last example is a myoclonic jerk. Myo means muscle, clonic means to bend. So a myoclonic jerk is an involuntary spasm of your muscles. So I get these a lot when I'm going to sleep. I'm drifting off to sleep, and all of a sudden I just spasm for no reason. So that's a myoclonic jerk. Muscle bending jerk or spasm. Myo means muscle. Real quick, what is your favorite word that uses one of these terms? What trick do you use to remember difficult terms like this? Leave a comment below to help your fellow students. And we will grow gray matter together. My and myos also mean muscle. So some examples to help that stick. Think myasthenia gravis. So my means muscle. Asthenia means a lack of strength. And gravis is a grave or somber condition. So myasthenia gravis is a condition where you lose muscle strength. It may start with just all of a sudden somebody has a droopy eyelid because they don't have enough of the neurotransmitter acetylcholine to keep their eyelid muscles contracting. But that's myasthenia gravis, a condition of weak muscles. Another good example is fibromyalgia. Fibro means fibrous tissue. My means muscle. And alga means pain. So pain of the muscle and fibrous tissues. So fibromyalgia is a condition where people have muscle pain, connective tissue pain, oftentimes of unknown origin. So fibromyalgia, fibrous or connective tissue, and muscle pain. So my and myos means muscle. All right, let's get weird with it. Ingurgitate. It comes from the Latin word gurgis, which means whirlpool or to swirl. So to ingurgitate means to guzzle. So if you next time you see somebody guzzling a drink, you can say that they're ingurgitating. So ingurgitate means to guzzle. Learning complex topics is hard. That's why they're called complex topics. But I hope this video showed you that I can help you, that I can lead you down the right path, that we can tackle this topic together one video at a time, one step at a time, one synapse at a time, until you grow gray matter.
but I'm going to do you a favor and throw in my 10 second productivity masterclass to speed this process along. So get your pen and paper ready. Step one, sleep when you can. Step two, caffeine for when you can't. And step three, we never give up. Now go change the world.